is let's speak now to the man who wrote the Fair Labor Report. CEO Arette Van Heerden joins us this morning from New York. Uh, great to have you on the program, Mr. Van Heerden. So 50 violations of Chinese labor laws. Um, what did you find on the ground? Tell us yourself, uh, what did you find at these Foxconn factories? I think the key finding, and this was the result of a lot of investigation of 3,000 hours and 35,000 work interviews, is that they've been exceeding the overtime limits. They've exceeded Apple's code limits and those of Chinese labor law. And this is the, not only the key finding, but it's also the key remedial proposal to get Foxconn down to 49 hours a week, which is the legal limit. Yeah. So Foxconn and Apple, Mr. Van Heerden, have now pledged to cut their working hours and give employees more oversight. Is, is that enough? Is that enough to solve the situation? That's, that's a major commitment. I don't know of any other company that has made such a commitment publicly. And if Foxconn and Apple can achieve that, they will really set a precedent for the electronic sector. In fact, for the private sector in China as a whole. But, Mr. Van Heerden, is Apple the sole company to blame here? Because, uh, you know, d doesn't Foxconn assemble products for, for the likes of Dell, for the likes of HP as well? Are we seeing those kind of commitments from those big manufacturers? That's a very good question because you're certainly right. Apple has taken the lead here. They've opened up their um, facilities for us to inspect and, and to publish the results. They've been very candid and frank with the public about the issues. And so the spotlight, I think, now is really on the rest. Are the other buyers and the other brands who are sourcing from Foxconn and from other factories in China, are they going to follow suit and be similarly uh, candid? Yeah, and people are thinking, what was the motivation for Apple to take this lead? I mean, they subscribe to the Fair Labor Association voluntarily, mind you. So that means they open up their suppliers, they submit to your inspections. People are wondering, why did it take so many suicides in southern China for them to actually be motivated to join the FLA? Actually, these discussions go back a couple of years. And so I think this has been a journey for Apple. They developed their own supplier responsibility program. They started discussions with us a couple of years ago to see whether working with us would add value. And I think sometime last year they concluded that we could add value and so they took a decision probably last summer that they would join the FLA. And once they did, they then decided to get out of the blocks right away and, and commission this independent investigation. Well, conversely, also, why did it take, uh, I guess, a big name like Apple for the FLA to step in for these inspections of uh, these Chinese factories? Shouldn't it have been done earlier? I, I, I think so. I think that uh, in some ways the electronics industry has lagged a little behind the apparel and footwear industry, which has been doing this for 15 years now. And we see much greater levels of um, engagement and transparency on the part of the apparel and footwear industry. So I'm hoping that the electronics industry has gotten to that point now and that the, um, the role, that the leadership role that Apple is playing here will be emulated right. by other major electronics brands as well. Uh, now, uh, Mr. Van Heerden, I, I want to talk about these Foxconn factories in relation to other factories across China. Are the conditions more appalling at Foxconn than, say, at other manufacturers that uh, employ these migrant workers? Because I can tell you that uh, a lot of people would, would say that the conditions are pretty much the same across the board. Uh, they're not worse than, than other factories in China. Definitely not. Um, as you can see from our uh, report and, and we have a lot of very detailed findings, but we did not find wage violations. We did not find child labor. We did not find forced labor. So we found a lot of issues, but uh, you know, we need to be uh, quite frank about the fact that uh, these conditions, what we did find, is not out of, out of the ordinary for China. Mr. Van Heerden, thank you so much for your time. Great speaking to you this morning. That's Orat Van Heerden, who is the CEO of Fair Labor Association.